successful rock anthem, Total Eclipse of the Heart. One of the youngest self-made millionaires in Britain, she made the first British female artist to go straight to number one in the American album charts. Well, despite such successes, she once turned down the chance to tour Europe because she wanted to spend more time with her husband in the valleys of South Wales. Bonnie Tyler joined me in the studio on Thursday. Bonnie Tyler, who has just been telling me as we were watching this that she was sick through all of that. You look fabulous. I mean, why, why did you feel sick? Oh, they had such incredible light, didn't they? No, but I was sick because I had food poisoning from the night before. Mm -hmm. But of course, we I, I couldn't um, cancel the video because everybody came home from Los Angeles and it was all set. And oh, God, I was oh, like, oh my God, I must have been sick about 12 times. But <laughs> great makeup artist, thank goodness. I could have done it with her yesterday. Only because I didn't have a chance mm -hmm. to use your lady. Of you know, course. If I could look half as good as you, I'd be really charmed. Bonnie, Bonnie, you're, doing a, you're saying all the right <laughs> things today. Listen, we were talking, too, about missed opportunities, because we were going back over, you know, the years, and when you first made, you first had your hit, Lost in France, mm -hmm. it was in 1976. Yeah. Okay. 20 years ago. All right. And then it was followed by um, It's a Heartache. Yeah. In well, 1978. I had a couple in between that, but, you know, It's a Heartache was the one that broke America for me first. Mm -hmm. And then 83, I had um, Total Eclipse of the Heart with um, Jim Steinman. Wow. And it was around that time that I turned down a James Bond theme, which I've lived to regret. But why did you turn it down? Uh, well, to be honest, I didn't really like the song, and so uh, mm -hmm. it was Never Say Never. It turned out to be um, oh, yeah. a hit, not a massive hit. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, could have been... Because your voice would have just been perfect for James Next time Bond, around, I hope they did. <laughs> Well, it still is. There it is. Mm. But, uh, I mean, you, who, who, who s said to you, listen, we don't think we like the music. I know you thought you didn't like mm. the music, but someone must have given you an extra prod. Was it your husband or your manager or your, your record company? Mm. What was it? Well, I had a duet um, coming out at the same time. Um, not a duet, sorry. I had Holding Out for a Hero coming out, which was also a, thim, uh, a film theme. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, for Footloose. And um, I think Jim got a little bit Jim Steinman was getting a little bit uh, edgy about me doing another, you know, theme. Mm -hmm. But um, maybe they can't even remember giving it to me, you know. But I did. I turned it down. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, sorry. Next time. Was the? I mean, there hasn't been much regret in your life, surely. I mean, you've had. You've got really everything that anyone in this business could possibly want. You've got your homes, and you've mm -hmm. got your music, and you've got your voice. I, and, and I love being on stage live. That's what I really love doing the most. And the, the one thing that I wanted to do which I haven't done in, Euro in, in Great Britain, sorry, for um, a long time, is tour. Mm -hmm. I've toured everywhere else over the last five years, and I've got 35 shows starting now in Germany on the 1st of April. It takes me through to Switzerland and Austria, some mm -hmm. in France as well. But I want to come here and tour my own country now. But I love you in Germany as well. Yes. You see, you've got to spread your talents over uh, a long, wide distance. But how does the voice hold up? I mean, Bonnie, how does that keep on going because it's right it gets you where you live it's really, really di <laughs> deep down here isn't it i do run into problems now and then but you know i just uh, tea lemon tea is the, is really the best thing for it with some honey the only thing is you know honey mm -hmm. is so fattening even though it's a natural source of um, sugar but it mm -hmm. really is and so uh, you can't you, it swings and roundabouts you know uh -huh. so you, you try and keep the weight down and then you've got to start tea, taking your tea with honey so you don't worry about your voice then obviously you don't if, if you're recommending tea you're not on any any kind of antibiotics for for throat infections you're not you're not bothered about your voice at all it's naturally like this i mean i turn up at gigs and uh, the local tour promoters might they, they listen to me speak and they think oh. God, is she going to be able to do the show tonight? You know, she sounds like she hasn't got a voice. But I always sound like this, you know. Did you sound like that when you set off in the valleys? You know, uh, you were going on the quite. clubs. <laughs> not quite as bad as this. Um, well, you know, when I say bad, it's been a good thing for me, really. But uh, I did have to have a throat operation in 1978 after I recorded Lost in France. And um, 
left me slightly more husky than I was before, but mm -hmm. at least I can reach the notes now, whereas before the operation, I just couldn't get up there, you know. <laughs> it's a two-hour two two hour session, show. isn't it, yeah. for you? I love, the, I love being on the stage, though. It just flies past, you know. i got a great band, and... Um, do you sing? You, do you sing constantly? Do you just sort of switch from yeah, one I, song to another? I go off twice to just chuck on another jacket or something, you know. But mm. um, yeah, and most of my songs are very raunchy. They're not little ditties, you know. So they are very powerful songs. But uh, on my new album that's coming out in February, Free Spirit, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I work with Jim Steinman again. So it's great to be back with him and Stuart Emerson, Andy Hill, Chris Neal. Um, Jeff Lynn wrote yeah. a song for me from uh, ELO with oh. Kiki D. Wow. Yeah, and Scorpions uh, wrote a track. <clears throat> so Making Love, this single, is yeah. not from the album? Is yes, it from the album? it's off the album. It's out today. Yeah. And uh, the album comes out a little later, 5th of February. Okay. Free Spirit, before Princess Diana said she was a free spirit. I see, you got there first. <laughs> I got there first. I'm thing. a free spirit. But, I mean, why... I suppose it's a stupid question. I'm going to ask it as a stupid question. <laughs> Come on. But why is it you're doing it? What, what's... Why still want to perform? I know you like getting up on stage. Mm, it's tiring. It. It's all the... But why? You, you don't have to. I know you don't have to, but I just can't wait. You know, and I, I just can't wait to get into... John Henry's studio, no, and get into rehearsals and do it. I just love what I do. I, you know, I mean, I'm 44. I should have grown up by now, maybe given up, but no way. Tina Turner came back with Let's Stick Together mm -hmm. when she was 43. That was a big comeback. I'm waiting for mine. Right? <laughs> but you could go home. You've got lots of homes. You could garden. You yeah. could look after horses. You could go sunbathing. You could mm -hmm. read. You could. I can do that as well. Anything. <laughs> can you, though? Can you, though? Well, you know, I mean, I went to, uh, I went on a few holidays last year and, um, you know, I have a good life. I enjoy traveling. Mm. I actually, I must be a glutton for punishment or something because I actually do love being with my band. You know, there's about 30 of us on the road all together. And, mm. you know, we, we are. I know it's, everybody says, one big happy family, but we are. There's none sort of like, none of this uh, when we sit down for our um, dinner, like, uh, could we take our own catering and mm -hmm. everything. You know, it's not like Bonnie's here, the band is here, and the crew are over there. You know, it's like, wherever you, you know, wherever you manage to sit, like, and it's, we all have a great laugh. Mm -hmm. It's possible mm -hmm. to enjoy this life, you know. <laughs> well, I can see that, I can see that. 